And before we get started, I'm just like to introduce myself. Um, my name is Nancy Kroba. My husband and I are both executive national marketing directors with the Juice Plus company. And we've had the true privilege to be with the company now for over 30 years. And I think what I love best about um, our business is that we are leaving a legacy, not only for our children, but for our granddaughter as well. And thus basically affecting families from all over the world. And here we are, we're both 72. And uh, 30 years later, we have the amazing life and uh, we have created this amazing life that um, because of our Juice Plus lifestyle, that we have the health and we have the vitality to enjoy it. So it's my pleasure to turn it over to my dear friend, Dr. Carol Watson, and she's going to introduce herself tonight through her story. So it's my privilege now to bring you Dr. Carol Watson. Thank you so much, Nancy, and everybody else for joining us. Hopefully, is it sound okay, Nancy? It's perfect, thank you. Okay, great. All right, um, I know I can't see you guys any longer, but hopefully you can see me okay. I am just so thrilled to share a little bit of my story, my experience with you here tonight. Um, one of the things that I have found over the years is diets don't work for me. <laughs> I don't like being deprived of food, do you? So we're going to talk about how you can literally be done with diets, eat abundantly with zero guilt. And that's going to be the focus of our talk tonight. So I am going to share a few of my um, tips and tricks with you, but I'm wondering if anybody on the call here tonight has any of these symptoms, if you will. Uh, you don't have to raise your hand, it's okay. Probably most of us have a few of these. Do you ever get cravings even though you've already eaten and you're full? Oh my gosh, I mean, it's like, hello. You eat more than you intend to, and then you like are feeling so stuffed you gotta unzip your pants, and then you feel guilty afterwards, but you go ahead and you'd end up doing it again. Hello, that's me. And then we, we kind of play games with ourselves. We make up excuses in our head like, oh, it's not that bad, or it's just this one time, or I've been good this week, so it's okay. And then the last thing is what I found a habit of in myself is I have these repeated failures because I'm being so strict with myself that there's no way that I'm going to be able to follow through with them. So those are some of the things that I have struggled with, and I have good news. We don't have to eat less. We get to eat right, and that's what we're going to be talking about tonight. So I'm going to be sharing my story from how I transformed from an extremely morbidly obese, depressed, actually suicidal and in a charter hospital for nine weeks, low energy and frequently sick with bronchitis three times a year woman, to a mobile, positive, energized health coach. I am so excited to share my story with you, but before we get to that part, let's back up a little. Why am I even on this mission of inspiring healthy living? Why am I even taking my time to share this story with you? Well, I wanted to be a nurse like my mother from the time I was very young. And I did become a nurse by the time uh, 1978 is when uh, I actually, that's my, um, sorry, I graduated college in 1980. This is when I got capped as a nurse with my mom and dad. And as you can already see, obesity kind of runs in my family. And you can see me right here as this, where this arrow is, that is me with my family around that age where I knew that I wanted to be a nurse. And guess what? I did. I became a critical care nurse. I always knew that I wanted to help other people. And you know what? I got really, really good at what I did because that's who I am. <laughs> I am an overachiever. I became the charge nurse and carried a code beeper for a 400 bed hospital so that if your heart stopped or you stopped breathing, I was the first person on the scene. But you know what I didn't know is how to prevent all that pain and suffering in the first place because they didn't teach us that in nursing school. 
My father actually died at the age of 56 on Father's Day of sudden death. That's a heart attack without any warning sign. That was on Father's Day. And this was the last time we saw him together with my youngest brother who had just graduated from high school. And on the right, you see my grandfather who died at the age of 53, sudden death, heart attack, no warning, the same way. And guess what? My youngest brother, six kids in my family, he's the youngest, he passed away last February at the age of 51, the same way. Heart attack, no warning sign. My mom and all of her side of the family died of cancer. So I've got heart disease on one side, cancer on the other side, and here I am living this morbidly obese life, just figuring, eh, you gotta die somehow because I've got cancer on one side and heart disease on the other side. At my peak, I weighed over 400 pounds. As that critical care nurse, by the way, where I worked for almost 20 years, I suffered from multiple symptoms and was on numerous medications. And the irony was that I was coming to save your life. But what I didn't know anything about was self-care. I was really good from the time I was really young, putting other people first and helping others at the cost of my own health. So my journey has been a lot about learning about self-care. The good news for me and for you all tonight is that if you have heart disease, cancer, diabetes, autoimmune disorders, whatever that is that tends to run genetically in your family, there's good news for you. The study of epigenetics tells us that we can significantly reduce our risk by changes in our diet and lifestyle. Because even though those genes load the guns, hey baby, we've got some control, lifestyle is what pulls the trigger. So we're gonna to talk tonight about how food can be our best medicine, and this is the trend in America and beyond today. We're discovering that our food is our best medicine, and we're gonna talk about how we get to eat a lot of really good food, starting with fruits and vegetables. Have you ever overeaten on broccoli? I'm just saying, it's kind of hard to overeat on fruits and vegetables, but you give me a bag of chips and I can eat the whole blooming thing, and maybe then some do. Almost all the leading health authorities are telling us upwards of 75% of diseases are preventable with good nutrition. So there is something within our control. The challenge is we need to be eating, according to all the leading health authorities, seven to 13 servings of fruits and vegetables every day. That's like, how many people do you know doing that? I have the best of intentions, and I rarely consume 13 servings a day. And by the way, if you're an athlete, you need even more. We're creating all of this oxidation in our body as a result of metabolism. We have all these free radicals going on in our body, creating oxidation. And the way to neutralize oxidation is with antioxidants. And where are antioxidants found? In fruits and vegetables. That's why we need to be eating so many of these. Antioxidants slow down the aging process because oxidation is now associated with nearly every form of chronic disease. Yet 90% of Americans are not eating enough of them. So we're not that ignorant, right? We know we're not eating right, so what do we do? We take a vitamin. 75% of Americans consume vitamins on a daily basis. But now we have science telling us that we need to be getting that nutrition from real food, whole food, fruits and vegetables, going back to nature, going back to the garden, right? You, you check out your, uh, your uh, supplement facts on a bottle of vitamins and you're only gonna find maybe 20 or 30 vitamins and minerals listed. If you were to take an apple and put a nutrition facts label on there with all the lists of ingredients in there, you would not have room because there's over 12,000 vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants found in one apple. So we're trying to outsmart nature and say, here, you just need these ones, 
but what about those thousands of others? They work in synergy together and we're trying to outsmart nature and isolate them and fragment them and put them in these schlack-coated vitamins that quite frankly are clogging up our sewage system and our internal sewage system too, if you know what I mean. So science is telling us now, oh my goodness, those, those vitamins you've been downing for all those years, I've been taking vitamins since the 1980s. They may not be good for us and they might even be causing more harm because again, we're isolating them and we're mega dosing with vitamin C and vitamin A and vitamin E and lycopene and zeaxanthin, all of these varieties of vitamins and minerals. So, okay, I'm not gonna eat them. They're not in my vitamin, I'll juice. That was my solution. Back in the 90s, I became an avid juicer. Six years of chop, slop, and mop. My husband and I would argue over who's going to get up out of bed and start that routine every morning. And it is a very rigorous routine if you have ever juiced. I bet you some, there's some juicers on the line here today. My husband bought me a spare refrigerator just to house all of the produce that we needed to juice to get just an eight-ounce glass. And I'm like, oh my gosh. So I am so thankful that back in 2001, my doctor answered my prayers. Uh, broccoli and beets and kale and parsley in a capsule. All he said was, can you swallow? I said, yes, sir, I can. How do I get it? I'm ready to hang up the chop, slop, and mop routine. So what I discovered is that Juice Plus is concentrated fruits and vegetables in capsule form to the tune of 30 fruits, vegetables, and berries. What I want you to notice is that they are picked at the, uh, picked at the peak of ripeness. So maximum nutrition from the soil into the produce occurs in the last 24 to 48 hours when they're really ripe, maximum nutrition. Also notice that the peels, the leaves, and the seeds are there. How many of you eat like the pit uh, in the seeds of an apple or the pit of a peach? All of that good nutrition is in this juice to dehydration process in cool temperature to maintain maximum enzyme content as well. And the Juice Plus company not only has a fruit blend, a vegetable blend, and a berry blend, but they also have an omega blend that is plant-based. So we bypass the fish and go straight to the source. I take all four of these blends and have been taking Juice Plus now for almost 20 years. And I have gone from bronchitis three to four times a year on steroids and antibiotics Two, like I mentioned at the beginning of the call, that Energizer Bunny that just keeps on going, right, Nancy? I mean, I have so much energy. They do call me the Energizer Bunny. Have I had bronchitis? Yes, but maybe a handful of times in 19 years since I've been taking Juice Plus and no antibiotics and no steroids. So my immune system continues to improve and get better and better. One of the reasons why I was attracted to Juice Plus is because it's not a vitamin. It's real food in a capsule. It has a nutrition facts label, not a supplement label like a vitamin. And it's clean of all pesticides, herbicides, fungicides, bactericides. Cancer patients can take Juice Plus because it's so clean when they're otherwise told don't eat any fruit. The capsules are vegan, they're certified kosher, and, what I, and they're non-genetically modified, and what really gives me confidence to be able to consume Juice Plus and recommend it is that it's NSF certified. And what that basically means, y'all, is that what is on the label is in the capsule, and what's in the capsule is on the label. The FDA does not regulate the supplement industry. This is food in a capsule, and it's verified to be so clean that even Olympic athletes can consume Juice Plus without concern about having blood tests that are gonna show something that they shouldn't be consuming. It is the most researched nutritional product in the world with research up to 40 different third-party independent 
peer-reviewed research articles published in very prestigious journals. Many of these studies are what we call the gold standard, which is what the medical community are looking for, which gives them even more credibility. You can see on your screen the variety of hospitals and universities around the globe, not just here in the United States. The one I like to point out because I live here in Texas is MD Anderson Cancer Center. Like, do you suppose that doctors at a cancer center would be recommending Juice Plus to their patients if they didn't believe that there was some credence to it and allowing them to participate in a study? That was done on ovarian cancer survivors, by the way, who consumed Juice Plus and drank our plant protein powder, which I'm gonna tell you about in a minute, and their quality of life and longevity, their outcomes post-recovery from ovarian cancer was extended in the group that took the Juice Plus and drank the shakes as well. This, this is just some of the summary of the vast amount of research. Literally, y'all, we would be here until midnight if I covered all the research on Juice Plus. I just wanna mention that it doesn't matter if you have inflammation, some cardiovascular symptom, if you have lung problems, skin problems, teeth problems, DNA that's been passed down to you that is not good, oxidation, again, associated with every form of chronic disease, you can significantly reduce your risk with the consumption of fruits and vegetables, and Juice Plus has research showing how our concentrated produce like the actual product itself being consumed in human beings can reduce your risk of these forms of disease. There is nothing else available any place in the world with or without a prescription that has been clinically proven to do what Juice Plus has been proven to do. And this is a quote from Dr. Richard Du Bois, who is a retired uh, infectious diseases doctor and well-known in Atlanta, Georgia, and literally throughout the world. And just in case you're wondering, if you have a child between the age of four and 18 or full-time college, get with the person that invited you, but we do have a program where children can get Juice Plus complimentary with an adult who decides to add Juice Plus to their wellness program because the adults set the example and kids are, <laughs> it's just amazing to me. Just fruits and vegetables, less missed days from school, less medications, they're eating more fruits and vegetables. This is some of the data that we're collecting. So please ask whoever cared enough to invite you tonight to this call about that. So I wanna get into now, if I can get my next slide here, my favorite part of the talk, because I love to eat. Do you? <laughs> this is so amazing what I have discovered now as a health and a life and a food addiction coach, because my mindset is now abundance, not deprivation. It is very difficult to overeat, like I said, on fruits and vegetables and beans and legumes. Look at on your screen, you can see how full the stomach to be satisfied is with fruits and vegetables or even the potatoes, the rice and beans versus a little bit of oil, the same amount of calories. So again, it's almost impossible to eat on really good food. I train my clients now with the magic plate. A third of your plate, green vegetables, a third of your plate, high quality protein, a third dense starchy vegetables or a grain, and a little bit of oil, and you're good to go. And with this plate, you literally get to eat quite a bit of food. And what that those types of foods do is they help regulate the blood sugar. If you eat a donut, cereal, white bread, pasta, what happens? Coke, ice cream, candy bar, blood sugar spikes, then drops. That's the light blue line there. When that blood sugar drops, the brain says, I need sugar, and right then is when you go for your craving, whatever that food is for you. Willpower just goes out the window. When we eat a diet high in fruits and vegetables, nuts, seeds, legumes, grains, the blood sugar stays stable, and you can literally create the willpower gene that I wasn't born with because the brain is happy. One tool, one resource, one food that has made a huge difference for me is Juice Plus Complete, plant protein powder that you can just literally shake in water or shake in some plant milk, or you can make a yummy smoothie, which is what I choose to do every day. 
I want you to look at those lists of ingredients on your screen. Now, when was the last time that you sat down to a plate full of broccoli, radish, and alfalfa sprouts, chickpea powder, millet, quinoa, amaranth, pea protein, rice protein, water washed soy, and mushrooms? I mean, we just don't eat like that on a daily basis, right? Can you drink? Suck it down, good quality whole food nutrition with eight grams of fiber, 13 grams of protein, and a low glycemic index to keep a nice stable blood sugar. This was critical for me in my weight loss journey and my continuing to maintain because my blood sugar is happy, I have a feeling of satiety. A fiber in a drink is pretty rare, I'm telling you. That's gonna be hard to find. And the cleanliness of the food and the quality of the food in the shake. When you look at the list of ingredients, you can pronounce everything that's in there. So my goal is now to eat to 75% satiated. And that's what I teach my clients as well in my food addiction coaching program. 70% full versus stuffed. 70, between 75 and 100% is where fat starts to accumulate because we're eating more calories than we need. So training ourselves to eat to 75% satiated instead of completely full makes the difference between weight loss and fat accumulation. So the Juice Plus product line has literally helped me transform my health, given me the resource for good whole food nutrition to detoxify while consuming the shakes to give me a feeling of satiety and fiber. And we have a program called the Shred 10. So if you're wanting to shred bad habits, if you're wanting to shred the food that you know is not high energy and good food for you, if you are wanting to get rid of the toxins that are creating inflammation and brain fog and gastric bloat, then the Shred 10 might be for you. What we've discovered is that with deprivation and overexercise, you can lose weight for sure. But if you're not doing it in a healthy way, eating the right foods to help cleanse your body of the toxins along with it, you're gonna end up rebounding and coming right back. How many of you have been on yo-yo diets? I certainly have. So the best way to lose it and keep it off is to eat a diet that supports clean eating, detoxification, cleansing, resetting your body, if you will, because those fat cells hang on to the toxins and protect your vital organs. It's a, it's a compensation mechanism that we were born with to protect our heart, our lungs, our kidneys from toxins. They're stored in fat. So you lose weight, the fat's exposed, but the toxins are still there your body is gonna go right back up to its set point to protect itself. So in this program, we call it the 10 guidelines. And you get to choose one guideline or 10. We'll meet you wherever you are. We wanna support you in your health goals, whatever those look like for you. For me, it was drinking two of those shakes a day, taking my capsules, making sure I drank plenty of water, getting my sleep, and walking. I started out only able to walk one block at a time. And now I walk close to five miles a day. So get with the person that invited you, they can tell you more about it, but we have amazing resources that go along with this, including the 10 guidelines. We have a Facebook group for ongoing support. You get a cookbook, resources, and you get tons of support in this program. We have a website where you can actually go to get some free resources, so be sure to ask whoever invited you. And we as a team in our Juice Plus team here on the call tonight, we have a Facebook group called Healthy Living Hangout where we support our, our friends. So if you want a little encouragement, some support, some recipe tips, some exercise ideas, how to make better choices, be sure to ask whoever invited you to see if you can be added to our Healthy Living Hangout. And these are just some of the symptoms that people, I, that I personally, as well as people that I have helped shred or reset their bodies have experienced. Anything from less inflammation in their joints to literally like reducing that bloat and the abdominal fat around their belly to improve cardiovascular function.
an amazing pro, it's just amazing you guys, what happens when we start eating clean and making healthy choices. And we focus on what we get to eat, not what we don't get to eat. So here's a picture of my um, journey. For those of you who have never met me, this was me in 2013 when I first started this shred program where I weighed in at over 300 pounds. And as of July of 2019, I hit a goal of 185, and now I have maintained that without much effort, I will say, um, because I've worked on not just making the right choices, but changing my habits, which is what I do as a food addiction coach now. I'm practicing what I'm preaching. You can read all the symptom improvements from size 26 down to a size 12, 14, y'all. I've not been that size since like seventh, eighth grade. I was never a small girl. I started kindergarten size 6X. So I am the fittest and the healthiest and the most mobile that I've ever been in my life because at age 30, I was so overweight. I feel like now I'm experiencing my 30s. So there's just another picture for you to kind of see from when I very very first started in April of 2014, and this picture on the right was taken in January of 2020, just this year. Being very vulnerable with you all, showing the side view, oh my gosh, can you believe that? Now, the one on the left where it says April of 2014, that was already three weeks into my shred, and I had lost almost 20 pounds on that picture already. I didn't have the balls, excuse my French, to take a picture of myself at my peak. Um, the other pictures you, sh you saw were given to me by someone who had taken pictures. What I love the most about this is what I have underlined on your screen. After years of helping others first, I have finally learned how to put on my own oxygen mask first. After years of serving others, I've discovered that the better care I take of myself, the better off I am to serve you. So my goal, my why, my reason that keeps me going is I want to be a source of inspiration and encouragement to others and be an example for others. And the best way I can help others is to start by helping myself. And I no longer feel guilty, no shame in self-care because I was taught to always look out for others. A better me to serve you. Love your neighbor as you love yourself, I believe, is what the Bible says. I think I finally understand that. Here's yet another authentic picture where you can see my jeans from size 26 to size 12. And this shows you. Dun, da, da, da. I have so many people that are like, oh my gosh, Carol, you definitely looked older than 30 when you were 30. <laughs> and you definitely looked younger than 60. And by the way, I'm 61 now. So that's the 30 year difference. I don't know about you all, but my goal is to age gracefully. And fruits and vegetables are the best anti-aging medicine that there is. And I feel so good to be flooding my body with that concentrated whole food nutrition every day, drinking those two shakes a day to help give me that feeling of satiety so that I can keep that weight off. My new motto in life is small hinges swing big doors. And what I mean by that is baby steps, consistently done over time, will get you to where you want to go. My journey was not a complete uphill or downhill journey. Again, in the spirit of authenticity, this is my Fitness Pal app that tracked my weight. Do you see one downward slope? Absolutely not. It was a bit of a roller coaster in there, okay? I'm not perfect either. I don't expect you to be perfect. I'm the progress, not perfection girl. But you got to set that goal and you've got to start somewhere to get the ball rolling. So why do I do what I do? I kind of alluded to it, but I want to be that someone that looks at me and says, Carol, Dr. Carol, because of you, I didn't give up. And I kind of jokingly like to say, if you hang out with me for too long, I'll brainwash you into believing in yourself and knowing that you can achieve anything because you can. You just need to believe it. 
Now I get to serve and inspire by teaching and training literally around the country. I am so filled with passion and purpose and vitality and energy to be able to do it. You know, before I wouldn't fly because it was so uncomfortable just to get into a seat in the on the airplane and I had to ask for an extender. Now I actually have a little bit of room on either side and plenty of room to like pull the, the seat belt a little tighter. I'm like, yes, that's so exciting. So I wanna be that source of inspiration for other people. And I truly believe that everybody needs a buddy in life. And if you are going to be transforming your health and taking back your health and taking responsibility for it, whether you're doing one simple thing like swallowing a capsule to flood your body with nutrition or embracing the Shred 10 journey along with us, we all need a buddy. And I'd like to introduce you to my buddy. My buddy is my husband, Ken. Oh, wasn't expecting that. <clears throat> oh, Nancy, I can't get through a talk without crying. I am so grateful for my husband who has been with me every step of the way. This was us on a cruise, January of 2014. That cruise, I have to say, was probably one of the worst cruises or experiences of my life because there were so many things I couldn't do because I was so obese. I couldn't swim with the, the stingrays. I couldn't get myself in and out of a boat. I had to stay behind. I was sweating all the time, short of breath all the time, and eating everything on the cruise, because you know they got a lot of food on the cruise, and not the right things. To now, a transformed woman, inside, outside, physically, mentally, spiritually, and emotionally, and I have had my man by my side the whole time, He's chosen to walk this journey with me, and I absolutely couldn't have done it without him. But before we close, I want to assure you, I am not perfect. Are you? <laughs> I am not. I'm not the food Nazi. I'm not the food police. So please, if you're ever out to dinner with me, don't feel shamed or like you've got to hide because you're eating something you shouldn't eat. Should is not a part of my vocabulary anymore. I choose to eat an onion ring every once in a while. I choose to have a hamburger and french fries once in a while. I'm absolutely not perfect and we don't expect you to be either, but that's part of my not depriving myself mindset as a food addiction coach as well. So how about you? Next time you get pulled over, oops, you're not gonna get pulled over, right? But I did. And the policeman asks for your driver's license, are they gonna recognize you? 30 days, 60 days, 90 days, a couple years, three years from now. I am so thankful that I said yes to myself, said yes to Juice Plus, said yes to the Shred 10, and said yes to learning how to love me because my health has literally transformed in the last six years to a place where I never honestly dreamed that I could ever be again, from a place of hopelessness to a place of passion and purpose. And I am on this mission to help women who struggle with food addiction and hopelessness and feeling like they're never gonna gain control of those binges or cravings because I understand what that feels like. It's a matter of mindset and a few habit changes. And Juice Plus was the launch pad for me to launch my journey. I am so grateful that when I'm 97, I'm gonna look 23. I don't know about you all, but literally again, the best anti-aging medicine possible. And I just wanna summarize and invite anybody who might be feeling the way that I have, that if you wanna to go to my website and check it out, you can certainly do that. Um, I am happy to do a discovery session with anybody who wants to explore further. But the four things that I feel like are so important in summarizing this, is it's not just about the food. It's about our mindset. It's about the belief systems we have about ourselves, the internal dialogue, the food that we're eating. We can reduce our cravings like I talked about. And to me, the most important part is surrendering this whole process to God. You can make the best choices possible and still end up with cancer. I'm sorry to tell you that. There are no guarantees. 
but based on science, we can significantly reduce our risk. And I am no longer living in guilt and shame. The past is the past, I'm moving forward, and as soon as that shame just broke its hold on me, all of a sudden now, loving me and taking care of me feels so good so that I can be a source of hope for other people. My goal is that the next time that you go to the doctor, he looks at you and says, darling, you got a rare condition called good health. And frankly, there ain't nothing I can do about it. So here is my lifetime goal. As a critical care nurse of almost 20 years at the bedside, seeing people die of preventable disease, my heart, my mission, my passion for you is for you to live long, full, healthy, vital lives. And when the time comes that God says, come home to see me, in an instant of a flash, I'll be gone to see Jesus and it will be over. I do not want to be hooked to a ventilator. I do not want someone having to take care of me. And I'm trusting and believing that that is going to be the end of my story. And I trust and believe that it will be yours as well. Juice Plus is the smart and easy way to get this snowball going, flooding your body with that good concentrated fruits, vegetables, grapes, and berries, and plant omegas. And our complete is fast food on the go that you don't have to feel guilty about. At the end of the day, the Shred 10 is a program that can help you snowball your health in the right direction. And I just want to end by saying thank you, Nancy, so much for inviting me to share my heart, my mission, my story, and inspire a few other people. Whether you are 400 pounds or 220 pounds or 10 pounds overweight, women generally beat ourselves up even at normal size weights. It's not just about weight. It's about feeling good in our own skin. It's about feeding our body food that fuels us for vitality so that you can be that energizer bunny too. Because quite frankly, I know girls that are a normal weight that don't have vitality. They don't have passion and purpose. They don't feel good about themselves when they look themselves in the mirror. They can't look their se themselves in the eye and say, I love you, I love you, I love you. I couldn't do that either. Now I can. And I'm so grateful that I can look myself naked in the mirror and say, I love you, Carol Watson, every part of you. And I'm trusting that one day you will get there as well. And if you're interested in some, some of my health tips, you can go to my website and check that out. And the reason why I put this picture, Nancy, I know you've never seen that, right? Um, kind of silly, but my tagline is I am Wonder Woman. I am like Wonder Woman with a sledgehammer helping women break through their walls to live free and fulfilled. And I hope that I help break some walls tonight. Nancy, back to you.